Marissa, as a working actor here in LA, you've had a ton of success, especially more recently. But I want to talk to you about one of our hit shows, Private Practice. Yes, that was really exciting. That aired recently. Um, I actually shot it right before Christmas, and it was a beautiful little Christmas gift. And um, I was lucky enough to have the scene with Kate Walsh and Benjamin Bratt. And um, when I saw them on set, I just, you never know what to expect when you, when you meet stars. And they were so warm, and they were so kind. And, and Benjamin Bratt was like the most handsome guy. And I think I was just glowing, like looking at him. And he was like, look at you, aren't you? Just the sunshine. And I was like, ah. <laughs> oh, just because you make me glow, Benjamin. <laughs> it hasn't always been coming up roses in the acting world. Talk to me about some of the struggles that you've gone through. Um, wow, it started a, a long time ago. I graduated from university and I had all these dreams in my heart and I thought it was going to happen like, you know, right away. Oh, I'll just put in a year, a year, year two of work and for sure I'll be at the Oscars within two years. <laughs> um, that didn't exactly happen that way. But um, so many wonderful things happened to make me a better artist along that road. You know, I started out uh, creating a theater company with my friends and, and from there went on to doing commercials and then independent films and then TV and national commercials and then eventually films. So we all know that, especially in entertainment, there are a lot of stereotypes which you have had to deal with. Talk to me about some of those stereotypes and what you've done to overcome them. Right. Actually, um, I would say the toughest road I had was when I was living in New York and I wasn't urban or Latina enough for them. Um, I got there and I just graduated from Brown University and I don't really have an accent of any kind, especially not Mexican or urban. And they were like, could you do something with your wardrobe, maybe get some hoop earrings, maybe, you know, learn a, an accent. And I was like, Yes, exactly. Um, and it was really difficult and I realized every audition I was going for, that's what they wanted. And I just wasn't fitting into that mold and it was the first indication that I really needed to start writing my own things, producing my own stuff, and, and it's the seed for, for what's been happening recently. All those years of frustration um, led to a lot of great ideas along the way and actually bonding with a lot of my Latina girlfriends and other women of color who have been stereotyped as well. And they're just like, where are the roles written for like the reality of who we are as Americans and the reality of who we are as humans, not just like stereotypes. So we were like, you know, forget all that. We need to write our own stuff. And so we established Monarch Media Productions and that's all about creating innovative content that celebrates diversity. And that's not only in people of color, but also alternative lifestyles and the elderly and people that are just in marginalized communities that aren't well represented on TV, so. Well, we know that one of the biggest events that's happening in LA is this week on the red carpet. It's the Oscars. Talk to me all about it. Are you going? Are you watching? I went to a red carpet party last night, a pre-Oscars bash, and it's just so fun to talk to everyone about, you know, what everyone's going to be wearing, what who the predictions are, who's going to be winning, what everyone's favorite films were, you know, and um, everyone has their favorites. There's the front runners that are, you know, maybe going to win, but that doesn't necessarily mean they're everybody's favorite. And who is your favorite? You know, The Help is the movie that really, really touched my heart this year. And it's, it's nominated in a lot of categories, and I think there's some great front runners, especially in the um, lead actress and supporting actress categories. But uh, yeah, I would just, that would be so fun if they won Best Picture. You just received what most would call the role of a lifetime. You are in the Twilight Saga coming up in November. Yes, um, that was a huge surprise and came out of left field. And I have to say, it was a, a point in time where I was really kind of considering whether I was going to continue on in this career and if I was crazy. Uh, <laughs> I ask myself every week if I'm crazy, but that was one of the points where I was like, really, um, do we want to keep doing this? Um, and I got this audition and I was like, wow, for Twilight, really? There's no way, um, I have no chance. And um, something clicked inside and I was like, you do have a chance. Somebody's got to get that part. Why can't it be you? And so I just went in there with that attitude and, and somehow it all worked out. Thank you so much, Marissa. Awesome. Thank you.